In this lesson, we'll be sketching rational functions. And the graph of a rational function looks something like this. There will be a vertical asymptote through which the graphs cannot pass, and they are not going to touch the vertical asymptote. They will go increasingly toward them, but never quite reach them. There will be a horizontal asymptote sometimes, where the graph will work its way toward that asymptote, but never quite reach it. There may be an x-intercept that we'll be using and a y-intercept. And so we'll get started right away. Our first rational function is x plus 3 over x minus 3. We can never divide by 0. So because of that, we have an excluded value in our domain of x equals 4. Turns out that excluded value will be the vertical asymptote. So x equals 4 will be our vertical asymptote. The graph will approach it, but not quite reach it. Now, regarding horizontal asymptotes, there's three situations. And we have a situation where we're going to be comparing the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. In this case, the degrees match. Whenever the degrees are equal, then the horizontal asymptote will be found by dividing the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is 1, divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, which is also 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So my horizontal asymptote then will be y equals 1. And again, that's because the degrees of the numerator and denominators matched, and I just divide my coefficients. Next thing I want to do is think about an x-intercept. So remember, how we find the x-intercept, it's setting y equal to 0. And in order for us to have 0, the result of 0 from a quotient, really it's the numerator that it would equal 0. So I would ask, some number plus 3 equals 0. What's that number? What does x equal? x equals negative 3. So that's going to be my x-intercept. So I put this dot at negative 3, and the, the graph is going to pass through negative 3 on the x-axis. To find my y-intercept, I want to set x equal to 0. And so when I set x equal to 0 here and here, my fraction simplifies to negative 3 fourths. My y-intercept is negative 3 fourths. And this last open circle is a whole, and a whole will result in a rational function if you ever divide some factor in the numerator by the factor in the denominator. But we didn't simplify anything, so we're not going to worry about a whole. What we're going to do is we're going to observe the way this graph is going to go. And it's going to pass through these points and approach this vertical asymptote. And then on the other side, same thing. You're passing, you're, you're approaching each asymptote. So I'm going to do my best with this pen tool. It's not particularly easy on the um, Jamboard, but here, here it goes. I'll try my best. Especially when you don't have that virtual stylus pen, it's just not overly simplistic. And so the graph looks like this. That's just a rough sketch of that rational function. So let's try another one. Um, I have a situation where I have um, a numerator and a denominator that actually both need to be factored. So I can do that. And my suspicion is when I factor these, there might be uh, a linear factor that I can cancel out, which will end up being a hole in the graph. So we'll show you that example also. You know how to factor a quadratic trinomial. And in the denominator, there's a factor of 2x that can be factored out, leaving us with x minus 6. So just as I suspected, there is a linear factor here that can be canceled. So I'm going to cancel the x minus 6 from both the numerator and the denominator, letting me know that there is a hole in the graph at a point with an x value of 6. So I can figure out that y value by just substituting 6 for x right here. 
6 minus 1 being 5, 2 times 6 being 12. So there is a hole in the graph at 6 comma 5 twelfths. And I can drag that over right now while it's fresh in my mind. Why not? So 6 and then 5 twelfths. Here's 6. 5 twelfths is just a little bit below the halfway mark. So we'll say that's pretty good. Now as far as asymptotes go, there is a vertical asymptote you can see here at 0. 0 is not allowed. So I'm going to drag over my vertical line to x equals 0. As far as horizontal asymptotes, let's notice that the degree of the numerator and the denominator match. Therefore, my horizontal asymptote is the quotient of these leading coefficients. So y equals 1 half. Okay, now, there, as far as an, a y-intercept, the y-intercept will, will not exist because it's an asymptote. There will be an x-intercept. I'm guessing my x-intercept will be probably somewhere close to this hole. But to find my x-intercept, remember, I set y equal to 0. So when I set y equal to 0, I'm really just looking at this numerator. 1 minus 1 is 0. So x equals 1 is my x-intercept. So there we go. It's going to be a strange-looking um, rational function, one that could be a little bit challenging to draw with this tool. So I am going to use my marker. And when I use my marker, I'm going to pass through my x-intercept. It skips right over this hole. It heads toward the asymptote. And then on the other side, there is no hole on this side. So that's what this particular function looks like.